we actually went back to the parking lot where it happened after we were released from the hospital. I wanted to find the necklace that melted off of me and burned through my neck. Um, we went back and we kind of configured a, a good theory of what we think happened. Um, and I was standing a few feet away from my dad. I was actually closer to the tree when it happened. And I was blasted out of my shoes about six feet away from where I was originally standing. My dad ended up about three feet or so from where he was standing. He didn't f go flying as much as was pushed straight down with incredible force. Um, and I was crouched down, so I guess I just had the angle to launch. But we figured that the lightning had struck to my right side, which would be further away from my dad where his back was facing to. Um, hit the ground, not the tree, because the um, the tree didn't have any burns at the top of it or on the trunk. Just it soaked mm -hmm. up a little bit from the electricity of the ground. And we were standing in about a half inch of water. It had puddled up so much from the rain and we were drenched. So we were just very conductive at the time. The paramedics actually said that what saved us is the rubber soles. I had boat shoes on, she had gym shoes on. Um, and they said that's what saved us. From the experience. Wow. We had figured it was a ground current strike where it soaks up from your feet and the electricity goes through your body and comes out the top, which is why we would have been pushed up off of the ground. Everything is random, too. Like, she had the metal on her melt, and uh, I got random burns on my ankles, my calf, my thighs. It just, there's no logic why. It just kind of skips to different parts of your body.